Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Chevy Silverado can take you outdoors working hard and playing hard. Let's go ahead and break this hitch install down. So this is the hitch right out of the box. You can see that this is the frame mounting plate here. It's got four holes, one, two, three, four here. And that's what will be mounting to your frame, to pre-existing holes in your frame. Um, got the identical uh, frame bracket on the other side here. One, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and prep the frame for uh, the hitch installation. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, so we're under the vehicle on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and point out our hitch attachment points here. Um, starting from the most forward part of the vehicle, this is one pre-existing hole that it'll attach to. Uh, going towards the rear, this is the second. Um, the third, we're gonna need to remove this nut here and remove this bolt here. Once we get that down, we can put the hitch right up and then bolt it down. Same thing on the, on the passenger side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna take a 21 millimeter and remove both this nut and this bolt. You can go ahead and do that now. It's kind of spinning on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a 13 16 wrench and support it on the top of the frame there so the bolt can work itself free here. There it goes. Okay, and I'll go ahead and remove the bolt on the most rear part of the frame. Okay, we'll repeat those steps on the passenger side. Okay, now we're ready to put the hitch into place. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be using a U-Haul hitch jack to put the hitch into place. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna need an extra set of hands. The hitch is pretty heavy. Again, we're just lining up the four holes in the hitch with the four attachment points in the frame. Okay, so as we're putting the hitch up into place, it's going into kind of a tight spot here. Um, you can see it's pressed up against the cross tube, the bumper cross tube here, and the spring shackle here. So what I'm gonna do is take a, a pry bar, and take the pointed end of it, and I'm just going to put it through the hitch and the most forward attachment hole. And I'm just gonna pull back, and as I do, the hitch should go right into place. Just like that. Okay, so we're over here on our passenger side, and I can see that the holes are, are not lining up exactly how they're supposed to. They're off just a little bit. Um, that's not a problem at all. Again, I'm gonna just take my pry bar. If you don't have a pry bar, you can simply just use a screwdriver. But you can see as I put my pry bar in here, the, the metal and steel is still pretty flexible. It'll move around for you. So I'm just gonna hold that into place while I put my bolts in um, the rear portion of the frame. Okay, so again, I have my pry bar in the most forward hole, and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start by putting our bolts in the pre-threaded weld nut at the very end of the frame. Okay, and before we tighten up the most rear bolts, what we're gonna do is take the provided uh, spacers here, and these are gonna go into, in between the hitch and the frame on the forward two holes. I'll just line up the holes in the, in the spacer in the frame and the hitch. Okay. 
Do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, so now we're ready to get the carriage uh, spacers in and the carriage bolts in. We're gonna go in through the top of the frame and then down through the uh, spacer and hitch. Let me show you how we do that here. We're just gonna reach our hand up, drop it through the hole here. Make sure it's seated. We can go ahead and take the provided nuts. And hand tighten those on. Okay, do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, so we're ready to tighten down all of our hardware now. I'll start with the most rear bolt, which again is gonna be a 21 millimeter with a five inch extension. Okay, now for the most forward bolts provided by the hitch manufacturer, I'm going to switch over to a three-quarter inch socket. We'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, now that we have the hardware snug down, we'll go ahead and take our torque wrench and torque them down to the manufactured specs. Let's go over a few important measurements you'll need. From the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube, it's gonna be 18 inches. That's gonna help you select a ball mount um, for a rise or a drop. And then from the pin and clip hole to the most rear edge of the bumper, it measures three inches. That's gonna help you determine any uh, accessory that has a vertical post on it. Okay, thank you for watching our video. Have fun and be safe and enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, 
Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.